Hello there guys, welcome back to another episode of Grassroots to Greatness. Today we are going to be playing Olympic Marseille in the Champions League. But first of all, here's how we've got on in recent weeks. And by our standards, we've had a bit of a blip. We followed a 3-0 win against Villarreal with a 3-0 win away at Deportivo. Uh, Lopez, Matic and Undai with the goals in a very, very decent performance. We then travelled to Leverkusen and Canario, Canario uh, got the only goal in a 1-0 win for the hosts. They are now the most dom you know, they are now the dominating team in German Bundesliga at the moment. Top of the league, doing really, really well. And uh, you could see why in this match. Then we lost to Espanyol by two goals to one. Nahul Lopez with a goal in this one uh, for us. We dominated the game, they just finished better than us. It was a poor, poor result. And then we lost at home 1 0 to Real Sociedad. I just words ex could just, I just couldn't explain in words. They just escaped me as to how annoyed I was in these three games. We managed to muster up the strength to pick up a 1 0 win at home to Valencia. Uh, Botello with the only goal, despite the fact we absolutely battered them for the entire match. Almeria, bottom of the league, managed to withstand our barrage and only let in two goals. Both front defenders, uh, Varane, I said that a bit funny, Varane, and Ivo Matic with the goals. We managed to overturn the 1-0 deficit against Leverkusen by winning 2-0 at home. Uh, Sunan wrapped it up in the 107th minute. We were dominating them from the very beginning of the match. Uh, it was only a matter of time, I felt, until we got the first goal. It did take us till the 87th minute. I must admit, I was a bit squeaky bum time. Uh, but then when we got that goal, I had this feeling that we were just... In, if, if we couldn't do it next time, we were going to take it on penalties. We came up against Athletic and beat them by two goals to nil. Uh, an own goal from Ander Herrera and Breel Abolo. Uh, sorry, Embolo with a goal. A bit below par performance from us, but, uh, you know, we, we picked up the three, there's a few points, so I was happy with that. My goodness was this game woeful. One of the worst I've ever witnessed on uh, Football Manager. There was one highlight in the first half, that was the kickoff. There was a highlight in the second half. There was there was two highlights actually in the second half, the kickoff and the final whistle. It was rubbish. We went down to 10 men after two minutes and it was just woeful. Actually, no, there was two highlights in the first half, sorry. There was the sending off and the kickoff. So, yeah, four highlights throughout the entire game. What a wonderful world. But last time out against Granada, we managed to beat them by five goals to nil. Ibrahim, Danilo, Odegaard and Botello with the goals in a game which we fully dominated. Okay then, guys, so that's where we've been at. Been a little bit shaky um, of late. A lot of injuries, a couple of unhappy players... And uh, it's kind of just knocked us around a little bit. Absolutely god awful, woeful even intake youth wise. Nobody worth talking about. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, so yeah, uh, the, the, we've promoted a couple of players. Gonzalo Nuzo. I mean, look at his hair. That's woeful. That's an actual um, game hair, I believe. Uh, it's not quite right, but uh, yeah, he's got good stats. Got good stats, but his hair's annoying. His hair is very annoying. But today we've got Olympic Marseille and we're going to jump straight into that. The, oh, that's what I was going to show you, actually. My apologies. Wait, bear with me. I forgot last episode, completely forgot to show you what the group ended up like. So for that, I do, I doth apologise. I can't even remember what group we're in now. All groups. Oh, we were in group A. Yeah, so we finished top with 15 points. Um... And uh, Barcelona, Benfica second, Dnipro third, and Legia finished bottom. No surprises there. Uh, Inter Milan won their group, uh, and obviously we came up against. We're coming up against team we finished second. Bayern dropping out there. Bayern really dropping off in Germany. Leverkusen really taking the reins over there now, in terms of being the big boys. Okay, got a few, like I said, we've got quite a few unhappy players. Um, I'm going to swap you and you around. I'm going to put you in. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, we've got quite a few a few unhappy players knocking around here. And, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a shame, really, um, to be honest. But that's life. 
and those things can't be helped. But there's also something bizarre happened. Um, it keeps saying that Danilo's unregistered, right? But when I look at the registration thing, he isn't unregistered. He's registered, and I don't know why. I don't know why it's saying he's unregistered for the um, for the Champions League, but he was obviously registered before. And when I look into, you know, when you go to the registration screen, it shows you all the players that are registered. He's in there, but when we play. When we played at home against Leverkusen, he was registered. Uh, and then when it came to the away leg against Leverkusen, and uh, uh, he was in the team, it said that he wasn't eligible for the game because he's not registered. And I was like, well, yes, he is. Looked on the thing and it said he was unregistered. And I don't quite understand what's happened there. Uh, I don't know if maybe it means he's suspended, possibly. Maybe there's a mess up with the skin or something. It's just showing the wrong thing. Um but yeah, it's a bit bizarre, really. I don't really understand why it's doing it. Did I remember to put goals on? I did, I did, I did. Oh, Ibrahim, don't get sent off. Oh, no. What the fuck, man? Seriously. <sighs> Sorry, Sunan. Oh, what am I doing? Sorry, Sunan, but you're going to have to come off. Awkward. Now whole Lopez is going to have to come on. That, that is a kick in the cobbles. 26 minutes in. Sunan's not going to be happy. He's not been getting in the team of flakes. He's not been scoring when he's been in. He's not been as productive as uh, Odegaard has been. So he's not going to be best impressed by that. But can we still do this for 10 men? Go on, Botello. Go on, Botello. Penalty. Get in. Get in. Odegaard's going to take this, the penalty taker. Will he get another goal for the season? Probably not. Oh, he has. It's gone in. I thought he was going to miss that, to be fair. 16 goals for the season. What an absolute beast he's been. Fair play to the flower pot. Fair play to him indeed. Now we have to wait 300 years for this freaking highlight to kick in. What's going on here? Oh, thank you. Thank you, America FM, for following me on Twitter. It's just popped up on my phone. Thank you very much. It's much appreciated. Don't know if you watch this video, but if you do, thank you. Um, it was a well-struck penalty, wasn't it? I know the highlight's gone, but I was thinking that and just didn't say the words. They were there in my mouth. They just didn't want to come out. But despite that, we're down to 10 men. We're still playing rather tastily, I think. I love the fact that I'm just leaving it on attacking. YOLO and all that. Um, passionately. Car lads. You can do it. Ibrahim's going to have to have a, a fine for getting sent off a straight red. It's very naughty. Especially in the Champions League. Go on. Nice. We are playing very well, considering we're down to 10 men at the minute. Touch wood at the minute. Oh, oh man, he did his boy there, didn't he? He just flew past him. Here's Botello. Mbolo. What was that? Gilmas, Patello, and I. Goal! Get in. 14 goals for the season for the man who, up until lately, has not been a starter very often. But he's got 14 goals now this season. Fair play to him for that. What the hell was the goalkeeper doing? He started to dive after the ball had hit the back of the net, rolled out of the net, and Undai was halfway to the corner flag to celebrate. Then the keeper went, oh, I better dive. What is going on there? What is going on? Tony Cruz has picked up a booking. Now, we cannot, I repeat, cannot afford to go down to 10 men, uh, 9 men. Let's bring you on as well. Okay, and... Now that we are two to the good, oops, I'm going to pull it back to control. See if we can't just keep the ball a little bit and, uh, you know, attack when necessary. Odegaard, 
out to Yilmaz. Wow, Jean Valet, Odegaard, Odegaard, Odegaard. I know I said that last episode, but Odegaard, my life. Odegaard has scored again. What a run and what a perler off the post. Now, why didn't that go down as an own goal? Normally when that happens, it goes down as an own goal, but today it didn't. Have they changed that maybe? I don't know. I don't know, but I'm glad he didn't go down as an own goal because that was a corker. Absolute Bobby Desler. Come on, them fellas, that's it. Come on. Play nicely now. Play nicely, that's it. That's the bad boy. Come on now. Much more calmer now, aren't they? Go on. Oh, 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 dear. But we might get another one there. But 3 0. If we can keep a clean sheet, I'll be very happy with that. Very happy indeed. Then, if we can get an early goal in the away leg, you know, just get us over that line, get us that away goal, then we can afford to lose 2 1 and still go through. You know, we can lose 2 3, 3 1, 4 1 and still go through. So, it's all good. Go on, your mass. Get a smash. Oh, Odegaard. Come on, Lopez, well done. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Lopez. Oh, no, no. Oh, what a last-ditch defending that was. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, brilliant from Yilmaz. Get in. We managed to get through with a clean sheet. That is fantastic. I'm going to passionately tell them very nice. This young man, not happy with him, but I'm not going to give him, like, a personalised bollocking just because I, I don't want to do that oh look at our old boy Jaquera top of the Champions League goal scorers and Alves getting in there good to see him amongst the goals these days always nice to see somebody you picked up who didn't quite work out for you do well for somebody else as long as it's not against you of course yep I'm sorry uh, what's it say here but I'm dismissed for a bad tackle he's not going to like this but I don't care. Oh no, he is. He's accepted it. Fair play to him. Good lad. That's the end of it then. No more. God, Steve Mandanda, 39 now. Look at that. 39. What an absolute legend of a goalkeeper he is. But uh, yes, so guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, thank you very much for joining me today. It's a pleasure as always. And again, it's a pleasure being in your face. Bye-bye.